Hello, this is Rich for PC Mechanic at PCMech.com, and I'm going to answer the number one question we get in the comments on the YouTube videos, and in private messages too on the YouTube, is how do we record our stuff, screencasting-wise? Well, here's one way of doing it. You've seen this many times on the internet before. It's in many other tutorials on YouTube besides this one. I'm just putting it in our channel specifically so people can see a way in which we do it. There are other tutorials besides the one I'm about to show you that are much better than this, but anyway, this is Cam Studio. You can get this at rendersoftware.com slash product slash Cam Studio. I'm just going to leave my mouse here for a second so you can look at it, ingrain that in your brain. If you want to pause the video and go to that website, go ahead. Okay, good. So, the way I get this to work is that I go to the view options and I use the Cam Studio lossless codec. This is next to the download link for Cam Studio. It's easy to install. Also, I set the auto adjust so that I drag the slider so it's 66 milliseconds and 15 frames per second. Anything higher than 15 frames per second on a screencast will look odd to the human eye. It doesn't look that good. It looks uh, you'd have to see it to know what I'm talking about. It just it doesn't look good at all. So 15 frames a second on the other hand is actually better as far as doing that is concerned. And uh, the last thing I do is use something called the auto pen. The auto pen is as I move my mouse you can see me moving around and it's following me. So I set my auto pan speed to 75. It's normally 20. In Cam Studio I set it to 75. So if you wanted to review something, say a website, it will take whatever is on your screen. See, here's Newegg.com. I'm on Newegg.com right now. And I'm just looking at some blank media. And, you know, I can just pan over to the price. I can talk about it. I can do whatever I want with it. And then I can go up and minimize windows, you know, and bring, bring up Cam Studio again. Whatever I feel like doing. This is one way of doing it. And, um... The software will not cost you anything, so go ahead and download it and try it out. All I'm going to tell you is that don't be surprised if you don't get it right the first time. I was able to do this in one take because I've done screencasting a lot, as have a lot of other guys that do tutorials that involve screencasts. You do it in one take. You keep doing more of them. You get used to it. You develop a style. Uh, but for your first outing, don't be surprised. Oh, one thing I will tell you, this will not do full screen games it's not gonna do it and there's some things it won't capture like DVD st stuff it will not capture DVD but anything else it will capture on the Windows screen uh, I don't know if this works in Vista haven't tried it but I'm using Windows XP Service Pack 2 so it works fine in this uh, so anyway the question has now been answered so if you want to do screencasts of your own feel free go at it have a ball I do suggest for your microphone to do like I do is to wear a headset with a microphone. It's a lot easier. It sounds a lot better.